Welcome to the Kids Bible True Story. Today, our story is about Job. Job's trouble. In Job 19:25, I know that my Redeemer lives, and that in the end he will stand upon the earth. Once in the land of Uz, there lived a man named Job. Job and his wife had seven wonderful sons and three beautiful daughters. Job was a good man in the eyes of the Lord, and his life was a blessing to others. Job was also very wealthy. He owned 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 oxen, and 500 donkeys, and had many servants. Early in the morning, Job would kneel and pray and thank God for his family. He loved them very much. Now one day, on the kingdom of heaven, the angels were coming before the Lord to praise him. Suddenly, Satan made an appearance. Where have you come from? The Lord asked Satan. I have been roaming the earth, tempting your people to do evil, shouted Satan. Then you have seen my servant Job, the Lord said. He hates evil and is always faithful to serve me. Satan responded, He only loves you because you protected his family and you've made him very rich. Take that away and he'll hate you. Very well, said the Lord. I give you permission to test Job, but do no harm to the man. A few days later, a messenger came running to Job and said, The Sabians have stolen your oxen and donkeys and killed your servants. I alone have escaped. He had not finished speaking when in came a second servant. Fire has fallen from out of the sky and burned up all your sheep and your servants. I alone have escaped to tell you. And while he was still speaking, in came a third messenger. The Chaldeans have attacked us and stolen your camels. They have killed all the servants, and I alone have escaped to tell you. And before he could finish speaking, in came a fourth servant who said, Your sons and daughters were together, eating dinner, when suddenly a strong wind came from the desert and blew down the house, killing them all. Job stood before them, and sorrow overcame him. His children, his servants, his possessions were gone. He tore his robe and fell to the ground with a broken heart. He prayed, I came into this world with nothing. Surely I will live with nothing. It is the Lord who gives. It is the Lord who takes away. Praise the name of the Lord. Job did not blame God for his trouble. This pleased the Lord. Once again, Satan appeared before the God of heaven. The Lord spoke. Your evil schemes have not worked, have they? Job is still faithful to me. Then Satan lashed out. Yes, but if you allow me to cause him great sickness and pain, he will curse you. Very well, said the Lord. Do as you wish, but do not kill Job. So Satan caused Job's skin to be covered with painful sores from head to toe. Job's heart was breaking for his children, and his body was terribly sick. Job's wife said, Why should you be faithful to the Lord now? Look at you. Look at your family. You should curse God and die. But Job replied, Shall we accept the good and not the trouble? And again, Job did not blame God. 
Job had three close friends who came to comfort him. They hardly recognized their friend because of his sickness and grief. They sat with Job for seven days and nights without saying a word. Finally, Job spoke and cursed the day he was born. His friend Alifa spoke first. The Lord is correcting you for an evil you have done. What kind of friends are you to tell me I have done wrong when I have not? cried Job. Then his friend Bildad spoke. Somewhere you have forgotten the Lord. So pray that he might forgive you and take away this sickness and pain. Job spoke. I have not sinned, and all I want to know is why God has done this to me. Then the Lord spoke to Job out of a storm. Now, I will ask the questions and you will answer. Where were you when I created the world? When I gave orders to the morning? Where were you when I created the seas and formed a man? Can you speak to the clouds? And give strength to all the creatures? Does the hawk fly by your wisdom? Does the eagle soar at your command? Now, do you stand and accuse God Almighty of evil? Answer me. Then Job understood. There are things which we cannot understand. Things that only God can know. And we must not question. For men and women are not equal to God. Job bowed his head and he prayed. I am nothing, Lord. Forgive me. The Lord was pleased with Job and asked him to forgive his friends. For they too did not understand the power and greatness of God. After Job had prayed for his friends, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before, and Job's life was blessed. The Tori's Bible truth is, I will not blame God for my troubles. One more time, we should not blame God for our troubles. Thank you for watching!